Hello there, dear viewers. It's time for another episode of Stellaris. Here we are just looking at planet Karom. Or K Karom, I can't really say it properly. But we are currently uplifting the citizens of this planet. They are spiritualist, pacifist molluscoids who live quite long. And unfortunately, this project means that we are running a bit low on our uh, energy credits. So I shall have to go somewhere. Perhaps checking out Aculum. Well, we could upgrade this laboratory and this one into. What are we low on? Well, we're low on just regular old physics, so that would be good. And I guess we could just go ahead and upgrade a whole lot of stuff. Oh, and they built a robot over there working processing minerals. That's good. An energy grid is always good. Oh, the robots aren't very good at um, energy making. Well, I guess making uh, energy grid is working in the power plant. And. Apparently I can modify this robot to make it a bit better because I have some new... So I have one trait point left over. Um, huh, the Nightlux are apparently beating out the Yaskalas. Humiliate? Strange. Propaganda machines means that they give some unity, um, durable makes them cheaper, super conductive, mm. efficient processors, harvesters, power drills, mass produced. This might be good. Long updated. Yep, and I'm going to just upgrade these robots make them a bit better. Yep, they offered peace and they entered into a defensive pact. Wow, so many people are, you know, let's make it into another physics lab, we need physics. Complete. Yes, we're still low on anything to do with electricity, but Hmm, this is the Mubaka. Construction complete. Build some mining stations over there, will you? And then over there. Is there anything in there? Well, all of it is taken care of. Oh, we can adopt a new tradition. Excellent. I've thought about maybe starting the harmony um, tree as well so i think that i'm going to do that actually Initiate harmony is good generally um oh the uthabulans want uh, 
they want migration. The Mangetian people should not be prisoners in the Mangeti circle of friends, and neither should our own people be limited to inhabit our territory. Let's agree to remedy this. Yes. Even though that would probably never happen because we're surrounded by people who have closed borders, but you know, hey. Yes, and we're working on finishing the whole robot thing. And we certainly are losing a lot of electricity. Oh, there's nothing there, nothing there, something there, something there, nothing there, something there. I'm just trying to check this one. Well, okay. And this one is okay. There's nothing in here. Everything taken care of there. And there. And there. And there. And in Kepot too, it appears. Well, some of our factions seem to be quite happy, so I guess that's good. But we are losing energy credit at a quite alarming rate. Let's see if we can do anything interesting here on Light Mother. Well, on Planet Halamanda, I mean. We can upgrade these two labs. Um, I guess we can't do much else. Well, we could build something in the Zipir system. There's nothing that's been exploited there yet. Go there and build some mining stations, please. And then you can go there and build some mining stations. Oh no, that's wrong. Yeah, this is a bit of a crazy journey, but you know. The Kesem Blessed Assembly has declared the Kesem Interplanetary Autocracy their rival. Huh, okay. This is weird. There's so many strange political events going on. I have considered pissing these guys off and going out there and taking one, building a uh, construction complete. Building one of these. Um, gosh, what's what is it called? Frontier outpost over here, so we can take that world that has terraforming liquids, and you know, it will broaden our territory, which will be quite nice. Special project complete. We can't really live on these planets unless we terraform them. So, okay, if this one is building and that one is building. And we have one sign chip that isn't doing anything. That's annoying. A research station built in orbit of a planetary body will gather its physics. Okay, that was the research station I clicked on by mistake. Where is the little Do I have to assign a leader? Evidently I do. Our computing expert? Well, sure, I'll assign you. 
and then I shall tell you to go to Holomamba and assist research. Technology discovered. Ooh. Yes. We have become better at habitability now. It would be slightly easier for us to live on certain planets. Very good. Hmm. Interstellar campaigns. Well, no, we don't wage war, so I, I don't really care. This one is quite cheap. Adaptive bureaucracy. Artificial moral codes. I mean, we don't have slaves, but making edict cheaper could be nice. And building a cyto revitalization center could be nice too. Guitar and dust refining could be good as well. I honestly don't know. I, I mean, I legitimately have no idea what to choose. Maybe adaptive bureaucracy because it's quite cheap. Construction complete. We've finished. I think it was just upgrading the power plant. Um, we could remove this active volcano and build another one. Or maybe this one over there. Construction complete. Yes, there's a mining station that's in built been built. Um wait, what what all I told it to do? Did Construction complete. Well, Lavanda something was finished building, and I think it was just upgrading something else. But we really are running low on energy fields, and I don't really understand how exactly. I mean, I certainly have tried. Mm, well, yeah, I think it might actually be worth it to take Epsilon Indy and, you know, really piss people off. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I know it's a daft idea, but hey. I'm nothing if not brave and possibly slightly foolhardy and stupid. I think we collected most of the resources available in most of these planets, you know, as we can. Oh! It goes quite well, this whole enlightenment process, I must say. Tile clear. And I have to say that I'm not entirely sure what it is that takes up so much of our... Well, stuff, resources. Can we build something somewhere? We can build a robot over here. And we can build another power plant over there. Ooh, and immediately a servant started growing there. That's very good. Yes, we can upgrade it to planetary capital. Hooray! Excellent! It will make basically every other thing near it much better and stronger. Very good. And we might just build another power plant. I mean, why not? They give power, that's very good. <laughs> and this robot will eventually...
Well, it will eventually give us some electricity, which will be very useful since we're losing so much energy credits. And Pildanus, is there anything that can be built there? We cannot upgrade our planetary administration yet. And we can't upgrade any of our power plants. I suppose what I could do is I could clear this one. And then once that's done, I'll just have to build something like a power grid over there. I could also build a spaceport, yes indeed, that seems like a quite good idea. It will cost us a bit, but I can put up some of the those solar panel things on the spaceport. On Halamanda, for instance, has a solar panel network, which seems quite good. Technology discovered. Well, that's good. The living state, um, hmm. leader recruitment cost goes down. Cloning sounds very interesting. Uplifting is quite interesting. I think I'll go for cloning. I mean, why not? The whole genetic research thing is fascinating. And we have loads of engineering for some reason. So it's good that we have a good engineer. And we're losing slightly less energy credits now. Very good. Initiating communications. The assembly of Peleria would like to Time have a um, what's it called? Migration treaty. Well very good. I certainly approve. And the tile was cleared on construction what was? complete. Pedanus. Yes it was. I should build an energy energy grid. And probably a mineral thing over there. Mining networks. Oh no! Oh man, one of our scientists has died. That's a big shame. I guess we'll have to recruit a new one. Hmm. I guess even this one, Modrig then Iridar might be good. Give Uvi Balviva could be good as well. With the maniacal thing, which makes him faster researcher. Yeah, why not? Sure, go ahead into the science ship and let's see where are you. Construction complete. What are the Nightlax regime doing here in our system? With their incredibly strong, terrifyingly strong fleet. Oh, it was because the leader died. Um Okay. Okay. So many migration treaties, and now we need to choose someone who can be a physicist. Ah, damn it! I guess I have to recruit another one. Hmm. Expedition materials, no. Mm, survey speed plus two to five. Mm. Oh, fine. I guess I'll. Mm, well, why not? 
Und dann kannst du das drehen. Ja. Play in on. One inactive building over here. Yes, that's fine. I will rather be worth power than, you know, something else. Thank you very much. And then, what planet was it that couldn't be built in? Construction complete. Yes. Yes! Ha 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 ha. Now they're going to be super mad, but, you know, hey. Let's build some mining stations. Oh no! An asteroid is approaching Aldara. The small astrometric lab on our observation outpost orbiting Aldara has detected a class 4 asteroid on its incoming trajectory. Oh dear, unless action is taken it will impact the planet's northern hemisphere with enough force to cause an extinction level event. Our mission of passive observation would normally prohibit us from intervening, but many of our scientists have argued for an exception in this case. To do nothing would mean to commend the Netraxi civilization on Aldara to a certain death. A difficult situation. Um, let's see, where was it? What hostile fleets? Space-faring entities. We can learn more about them and maybe even initiate first contact. But how? We don't have a special project to study these guys. Annoying. So what can I do? Can I do something? Um. They're moving, but we don't have a special project involving them. Oh, that's the asteroid. Well, we don't have it in our menu. I don't know what to do. It's just coming over there. And... Construction complete. If I choose planet Baka, can I make it just like... It doesn't do anything. Where is it? Oh, it's because it counts as hostile, so it can't go there. I see. Kudanus has finished something. Yes, I know, there's no one working at the temple. Oh well. But soon we will have technologically um, enlightened. Discovered. Yes, we'll research advanced combat roles. That's very good. Planetary power grid. Wow, that sounds excellent. Or the quantum energy states. Hmm. Well, let's do the quantum energy states, I think. It will take a while, but it will be done. I 
I'm still worried about that giant asteroid though. I mean, it's coming there and there's nothing we can do. Like, we don't have a special project for it yet. And there are many aliens that we literally can't capture because they're inside uh, empires who well who are hostile towards us or have closed the borders against us I mean we're like set out here with these guys having closed the borders these guys having closed the borders these guys having closed the borders the only ones who haven't are the Kadeshi well, who are you then? Oh, that's a construction ship, but I don't understand why it's not green. Why is it blue? That's very strange. I wonder what they are doing. Construction complete. Well, we finished our little uh, spaceport, so why not put in some solar panel networks? I think that would help. And then we can upgrade it. Yes, yes. But we really do need a lot of power. Oh. Well, they're changing a little bit. And we're losing our income. Well, the city has a frontier outpost, but it doesn't have a colonized world, as far as I know. And there is a frontier outpost here. I don't know what would happen if we were to lose that. The Uthabulla nation made peace with the Polyrian Galactic Confederacy. The ones were enforced that were... Stop atrocities, seed planet, stop atrocities, destroy your frontier outpost and humiliate. I don't really know what all of these ones mean. Ooh, the asteroid is coming close now. And there's still nothing we can do about it. I hope they don't die, that would be very sad. And the Polarians apparently want to open their borders. Yep, the asteroid hits, but there was literally nothing we could do. Oh god, as predicted, the asteroid headed for Aldara has impacted the planet's surface, causing irreparable damage to its ecosystem. The scientists in our observation outpost could only watch in silence, as the alien civilization they had been studying was snuffed out of existence far below. With nothing left to study, the outpost has been evacuated and set on a decaying orbit. A tragic fate, but it was not our place to interfere. Well, that's incredibly sad, actually. That's really, really, really sad. I don't know what to feel about that. That makes me very sad indeed. The frontiers of our empire are by no means final. Frontier outposts act as beacons projecting our influence. Well, there's not a lot, whole lot going on in the system. We can't mine anything. We can't really do much here. There's only different types of toxic worlds and other sort of, you know, bad worlds. I've been thinking of, you know, what can we afford to remove? We have Duracus, which isn't doing much. And we have Epsilon Indy. And we have our observation post here. I wonder what would happen if we were to deactivate this frontier outpost. Hmm. I think I'm going to try it, just to see what would happen. Huh. 
how much smaller would our borders get? Oh yeah, that was a bad idea. Um, I don't remember which one it was. Brachium, maybe? Construction complete. Uh, do I have a construction ship that isn't doing anything? Well, my dear friend, go out there and build a outpost, please. The Nightlux regime will guarantee the independence of them, okay. And Behiram Home has finished building something, and I'll upgrade the physics lab and the power plant. And the robot needs a mining network. Yes, we're finally gaining energy credits again. We are receiving a transmission from the independent space station, the Curator Alpha Enclave. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Fascinating. Greetings, Star Traveler. We are the Curators. Our ancient order was established eons ago by the various galactic powers in ascendancy at the time. We were dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions and barbarism. We failed. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. We are willing to share some knowledge with you for a price. Well met. Well, cheers. Um, would you like to be our friends? Uh, let's look at their opinions of us. The Coptilians still like us. And we're in... We can't join the Federation. An alien empire is making contact. Uh, nobody's making contact with us. I don't know what that was about. But yeah, let's talk to them. We see we can't join the federation because they don't like us much, much, very much. I guess. Um, Palerians. No, they still don't like us because we are very far away. Which is quite annoying, but hey. Technology discovered. Let's see, what were they called? Creator Alpha Enclave. Well, let's communicate with them. Can you aid us in your our research? Uh, a thousand energy credits. Uh, maybe not. Goodness gracious, that's incredibly expensive. What else do you have to offer? Um, tell us about the mysteries of the universe. There are exceedingly powerful entities lurking within certain star systems. In our galaxy, at great cost in both lives and resources, Creator Agents have painstakingly gathered knowledge that should make these beings easier to deal with the next time you encounter them. Tell us something we don't know for 300 energy credits. Well, it's worth it. Log updated. We have marked a star system in your situation log. Thank you. So I could just buy some interesting thing. Track on map. Where is this interesting thing, I wonder? Is it something over there? Within the Kadesh space? Please don't. No, that's just one of these anomalies, okay. Is it something over there? Nope, that's just another animal. Yes, fine. Oh, so he doesn't want me to join his federation. Fine. And the... Dar... Contingents, ancient caretakers. Wow, interesting. Custodian matrix. Um, interesting. They seem they have opened their borders. Well, where are you, my friends? Where do you live? Construction complete. Alpha refuge system, which is okay on the far end of the galaxy. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind. 
uh, please you're welcome here in this place we can add some hydroponic farms we can upgrade and we need to research something new hmm, colonial bureaucracy that adds one more core sector that seems very good gene tailoring though wow genetic modification wow wow yep yep we're doing it genetic modification it will take a while but it will be good and the temple is still missing a one pop to do something with well that's okay There's no way for us to go there, very annoying. This one is not doing anything, even though it's so annoying that sometimes I just, you know, don't do anything. Assist the research. Thank you very much. And you're over there, not doing much, I guess. construction ship oh it is moving that's good and like to make completed yes the thousands of scientists and advisors we sent to chrome have finally completed the ardor's task of bringing the local civilization up to an early space age level of technology under the new unified government, the aliens now style themselves with the United Euthonian Empire and they have agreed to become our vassals. Our observation post above their homeworld has been dismantled as per the conditions of our treaty with them. This is a great day. It is. It's a wonderful day. It's a perfect day. Thank you. Our friends at Kakarom. Oh, we can't help them build their planets. That's a bit of a shame. What? Well, oh, oh, they've opened borders. Well, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Fanatic spiritualist and pacifist. Well, they're fine. That's fine. Look, Karom, can we... No, we can't help them. Oh, it's because they are our vassals. We don't, like, actively own them. They seem to be doing okay though. We leave them be. Through hard work and experience, revered elder Avava Ubi Pivava has developed a new skill. Now has the eye for talent trait. Technology discovered. Um yes, we can build better power plants. Something new. A plink miniature station. Sounds like it would be quite good. Well, we have one science ship that isn't doing anything. This one can go over to Pudanus. Oh, it needs a planetary capital, huh? Yeah, but now we can upgrade this to a planetary capital. That's very good. Well, I think we'll end it there. I'll just go back and zoom in on our little Kefoth people, the Euthonians and their lovely planet. We have successfully enlightened these people. And they have this strange little squid-like spaceport over there thank you so much for watching it's been great fun 
and I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.